So now here in this particular video, I am going to talk about some of the variables. Now what these variables are? By name itself, we come to know the data which is going to vary, which is going to change. Now here I am going to use some variables which by default you have into the Linux operating system and the value of this particular file or a particular data of this particular file gets changed. So basically you have a profile slash etc slash profile. When your operating system gets started, first your system will check what you have in the profile. Now very first what this profile contains. When you get login, what kind of desktop you get, what the services should be started when you get started. So everything will be listed into that profile and by default this file is hidden into all the particular home directories and your system directory. So when your system file or when your system starts, first it will search for your profile file that you have set anything to be started at the startup while your system is getting started or you have some of the script file which is located over here. The script file are nothing but the automated some commands or automated some programs you have defined. So it will check into this slash etc slash profile when your system gets started. If suppose it doesn't find anything, so there is nothing such like it will provide you an error because this profile will only contain what you need to start and what are the services you have started while your system is getting started. If you don't find anything, what it will do, it will skip that file and then it will go to the home directory of the user for looking at what the user wants when it gets login. So again it will move into slash home slash profile. So slash home slash profile will contain all the particular user commands or all the particular user shells or programs which he, that particular user want to start. Again if you would find any things the particular program gets started. If it doesn't find anything over here automatically it will stop it over there itself or it will skip it over there itself and then move ahead and give the basic shell to your particular profiles. Same way what this dot file contains. As I said, it contains your terminal usage commands. It will contain the type of terminal you are going to use. It contains in which type of terminal you are going to get logged in or which we have get logged in. Same thing, it will also contain the directories list which you already have. Now, if suppose I want when I get started or when I get logged in, in which directory I should move and what are the directories I have created it should be listed into me. I can also put it into my dot profile. You can also add the variable or any particular data which we feel that should get started when your user get logged in. So we can also add those kind of data into the profile which can vary or which can get affected while my system is getting multiple time logged in. So this is what exactly dot profiles are. Now if I want to check this dot profile file into a particular home directory, I need to move into slash home and then again we need to give the same command ls space hyphen e. It will show me this particular file and let us check what this file contains into our Linux terminal. So as discussed when your machine gets started it will go for the profile generally we have into this system variable or we can say the variables which we have defined during the system. So if I want to check all the variables which we have uh, that is called as an environment variables so which we do not use on this shell but we have you know declared into the computer itself so that when it starts it get access to all the particular variables we have defined. So these are the some environment variables which are by default defined into the system. So whenever your system gets started it will check for all this environment variables right like your shell will always be bin bash itself right your window will be this much size window id will be this much size the colors which you are going to follow right and along with that it will show you more of the details window path which is the language you will be following what is the you know home directory of this particular directory so as i told you like all the particular environment variables which are declared it will check for each and everything now let us have a look like what the environment variable has been defined into the slash home and your user profile. So as we know if I want to use into the go into the user profile I'll be using cd and enter. So right now I'm into my user profile that is home trainer. So if I give the command ll I won't be able to see any hidden files and as discussed these files are by default hidden into your profile. So I'll give ls space hyphen a. And you can check we have some dot 
file names these are your hidden files so let us check this hidden files by giving command ln space hyphen a so we can check the complete detail of this files so this is your bash history this is your bash logout bash profile so this three files generally we have right now right so uh, starting with your dot profile so dot bash profile if i want to check the content of dash uh, bash profile what i'll be doing is i'll give the command cat dot bash profile so you know it should always follow with dot so that it comes to know it is the same file so once you move into it you will find that here some function has been called and post that we have the user variable which is the environment and the starter programs we generally have defined here so it is defining that we need to move into the path where I'm going to define the variable path so whenever there is a variable declared and uh, it contains some values it will be along with the dollar path so we are going to call this particular value of it same way here dollar and home so let us check what this path contain so into anywhere into the shell as it is an environment variable you can get the data of it anywhere so you can check i'm just calling this path and you are going to get access to all the particular you know path which we use generally after we get login with this particular user so these are the directories these are the you know paths uh, we can follow this particular user can move in and get access to your commands so same way we also have a dollar home into capital case which is defined over here so i need to check what this dollar home contains so it contains your users home directory information right so when the user get logins so it get access to all this particular directory so it can move into all the directories along with that he will be able to move directly into the bash so if you do not have this command or if we do not declare this your system your uh, you know user won't be able to get login directly into the user profile so this is what the environment you know variables we use into the dot profile as well same way uh, we also have some files which we are going to see that is your ls space hyphen a which is your dot bash history so dot bash history is generally used to store your all the commands which we have used using this particular user so you can check into dot bash history it will have the collection of all the commands we have you know used till now so i'll just give more so that i can look it out completely so you can see i started with pwd command and then as the tutorial i have created i have started using a different commands here so it will keep a list of all my commands which i have used using this particular user same way it also contains um no command so that we can get all the particular history pulled over here by using history so you can see it will show you along with the serial number right so these are the commands which we have used till now even it will collect the history command which we have used right so this is how generally your environment variables we generally have and mostly if you want to add any particular SDKs and you want to define the path of uh, those SDKs into your environment variable you have to define it into it so this is what exactly we have into your environment variable and dot profile contains and also we have a file called as dot bash logout so once we log out what should happen it contains some scripts here you can come to know while I move into the logout file so you can find it contains a bash logout command that's it right so this is how generally we create the environment variables and we can check which are the environment variables are by default declared into the machine now same way if I want to define any environment variable of my own I can also define it by using env and we can define the name of our environment variable so if suppose I want to define the name as um, trainer 
So you can see this one environment variable is added and find the name trainer has been added here. So this is how we can declare your own environment variables. Same way if I want to define some path. So I can also define the path in such a way etc slash passwd as well. So we, it is by default added into the path, right? So this is how generally we uh, can add, you know, the path and then we can add the environment variables into the system.